Thanks for taking a few minutes to view this demonstration of the new Citrix Workspace app. For this demo, I'll be using my MacBook. However, the Workspace app is available on all operating system platforms, including Windows 10, iOS, Android, and HTML5 for access from any web browser. Regardless of the device you're using to access your Workspace, the look and the feel and the UI will always remain consistent. To access your entire workspace, all you'll need is three simple pieces of information. Your URL domain, your username, and your password. Let's enter those now. And just like that, I now have access to my entire workspace, including apps, desktops, files, Keep in mind, once inside the workspace, you'll never have to enter another username or password. Having an entire workspace delivered through a single access point or application will improve productivity and streamline common workflows for the end user. One example of this is universal search capabilities. One search engine will search your entire workspace, including your apps, desktops, and files. Let's type in sales and see what happens. The search returned both the Salesforce SaaS app as well as a file. Now let's go back to our home page and check out some other features. For all of your apps, desktops, and files, you can view all, you can view most recent, or you can view favorites. Additionally, by clicking on the three dots below the app, you can see most recent files for that specific app and navigate directly to those files. What makes Citrix's support for SaaS applications unique is Citrix Access Control. Citrix Access Control not only provides single sign-on, but also provides IT with a layer of security controls not available anywhere else. Let's take a look at Citrix Access Control in action. We're going to click on Gmail, and in this example, enhanced security for this app is turned off. So Gmail will launch in a standard browser. Workspace app has provided single sign-on, but no additional security policies or controls. We can navigate away from the page if we want. We can cut, copy, paste, and print directly from the page if we want. Now let's see it again with enhanced security turned on. We're going to go ahead and click on G Suite. And this time the app launches in a secure browser. Now that we're in a secure browser session, Citrix Access Control capabilities can be applied to provide a layer of control on top of the access. The first thing you'll notice is the watermark. You'll notice that there is no navigation bar to navigate away from the site, and cut, copy, paste restrictions have been turned off. Now let's click on the Gmail app within the G Suite. In addition to access control, Workspace app also supports URL filtering capabilities. Within this email, we have a couple of hyperlinks. Based on URL filtering, whitelisting, blacklisting, web reputation, and category groupings, such as social media or gambling, we can treat these links differently. The first option is to simply deny access. So let's go ahead and click on, click on the piratebay.org, and you can see the site has obviously been blacklisted. The second option is to grant access with some additional security controls. So for Facebook, again, we're going to launch it in a secure browser. But in this example, the only security control we've added is, is the ability to control where the user will navigate. We don't give them the option of navigating away from the page in this example. Now let's close this out and let's go ahead and look at one more example. Um, let's use the, uh, the Salesforce example. Again, we're going to click on Salesforce and launch it. 
You can see the watermark. You can see that there's no ability to navigate away from the page. Cut, copy, and paste controls have been restricted. And even if we go try to print something, uh, printing as well has been disabled. Okay, so now moving on from the SAS applications, let's take a look at the desktops that are available to us within the Workspace app. You can see we've got a couple of Windows 10 desktops here, both an on-prem desktop and a desktop delivered from the cloud. When we click on that on-prem desktop, again, you're going to see the same level of controls uh, that we had within the SaaS applications. As we launch the desktop here, you'll notice in the background we can see the watermarking again. So if anyone was to do a screen capture um, and send that file away, we would know whose desktop that came from. Finally, let's take a look at integrated file support within the Workspace app. This integration of files with your apps and desktops is one of the most powerful features of the Citrix Workspace. Citrix Files supports on-prem, cloud storage, as well as connectors to other common data sources, such as SharePoint, OneDrive, Box, Network Shares, and many more. Despite the distributed nature of your files, everything is delivered through the Workspace app with some really cool security and collaboration features built right in. Look at all this stuff we can do. We can share the file, move the file, but most importantly, we can initiate workflows for document approvals and reviews. Let's go ahead and click on Get Approval. And now, through this really simple workflow, we can initiate and track a document approval. I use this feature all the time. Again, you're simply going to add a list of approvers um, that's linked to your email contact list. It's going to send them an email. They can review the document. They'll have an option to edit the document. Um, and then you can get that document approved. So again, we've got all of our apps, all of our desktops, all of our files in one place. Uh, and this concludes the demonstration. We hope that you're as excited about the new Citrix app as we are. For more information, please reach out to your local Citrix account team or Citrix partner. Thanks again for your time.